So this question, mixed micro slash farm, absolute favorite on NBMEs slash USMLE. How do I know that? Because it's asked repeatedly on the NBME exams. They love antifungal agents. Now, I'm not trying to make this super tricky or haha gotcha like for my own entertainment. I mean, the idea is to get your score up, okay? So I just straight up asked, uh, what's the mechanism of action of caspo fungin? It's on the NBME exams, okay? And then it's like, oh shit, like a fungal cell, okay? I drew this image. I suck at art, but I take pride in this image. I think it's a nice... Uh, sea green color here. Okay, it's a fungal cell. So we have to we have to ask what's the mechanism of action of caspal fungin and where on the cell does this correspond to? So why don't we just go through some of the answer choices here? Uh, we look at choice I, which you say no idea what that fucking refers to. This is supposed to be microtubules. Okay, this is the wrong answer. This refers to griseofulvin. Okay, griseofulvin oral for patient only is the answer for. Tinea capitis, that's on the family medicine forms for 2CK. Let's look at some of the other answer choices. Uh, D, the conversion of squalene to lanostril, which is squalene epoxidase. This is also the wrong fucking answer. This refers to terbinafine. Oral terbinafine is for anicomycosis, which is nail infection due to fungus. Topical terbinafine is classic for tinea pedis. I have seen USMLE, or I should say NBME questions, where they uh, will give you a topical azole for tinea pedis, but you should just know they're not going to give you both at the same time, okay, and make you choose. I'm just saying, if you want to know what is terbinafine used for, oral for onychomycosis, topical for tinea pedis. Wrong answer here. Choice C, this refers to azoles, okay? 14 dimethylase, the conversion of lanostril to ergosterol. Ergosterol is the fungal cell equivalent of cholesterol. USMLE will describe this enzyme, 14 dimethylase, as uh, on the new NBMEs as a P450 methylation reaction or demethylation reaction, okay? So that uh, throws some students a curveball because they don't know that that refers to uh, azoles, fluconazole, okay? Ketoconazole, obviously antiandrogenic. Uh, we could talk a lot about azoles, but it's not the correct answer here. Fluconazole is our general go-to agent for many uh, fungal infections. A simple pneumonia, okay, that's uh, where the patient is stable. Uh, uh, cutaneous candida, we treat with oral fluconazole. Uh, candidal esophagitis, oral fluconazole, okay? A lot we can talk about, but I don't want to go 19 minutes on that. Choices E, F, G, and H are nothing. Okay, that's just me uh, being an asshole. Choice B is our ergosterol membrane. Okay, this refers to amphotericin B and nystatin, which both uh, poke holes in the ergosterol membrane. Okay, pores. Nystatin mouthwash is used for oropharyngeal candidiasis. As I said before, candidal esophagitis is oral fluconazole, but Nystatin mouthwash is oropharyngeal, just oral thrush. Topical nystatin can also be used for vaginal candidiasis. And I have seen uh, oral fluconazole, as I mentioned before, I have seen oral fluconazole for uh, vaginal candidiasis. So topical nystatin or oral fluconazole for vaginal candidiasis. Amphotericin B is classically cryptococcus neoformans meningitis. It's our last resort, okay? It's a very powerful agent. It causes colloquially amphoterable, which is a hypersensitivity-like reaction uh, and can cause electrolyte disturbance, hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia. But the point is, amphotericin B is a hard-hitting antifungal. Students sometimes erroneously pick it for simple fungal infections. It's last resort, okay? Invasive fungal infections we hit with, with amphotericin B. Choice A is the correct answer. This refers to caspofungin, okay? Uh, mycofungin, caspofungin, these inhibit beta-1,3 glucan synthase, okay, which is carbohydrate uh, cell wall synthesis, okay? So beta-1,3 glucan synthase, uh, glucan, beta-glucan carbohydrate synthesis, that's how it's going to show up on the NBME exam slash USMLE. As I prefaced, this isn't meant to be a tricky or like, you know, very interesting, crazy question. I mean, the point is to just get your scores up. You need to know the mechanism of action of the uh, antifungals, okay? Caspofungin, very high yield. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.